It's a sad fact, but many, many people in our country think that faith means believing in something you know isn't true. That's not faith, that's stupidity. Too often people think that becoming a Christian means taking a leap of faith. You get to a point where nothing makes sense, it's all irrational, and you close your eyes and leap into the void. Well, that may be the case for a few people, but Christianity doesn't need to be a leap of faith. As C.S. Lewis has shown, it can be a step of faith. It makes sense. It is rational. It can be explained and even defended. But ultimately, it does take faith because it can't be proven in the way scientific things can be proven. Faith, says Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, is the evidence of things not seen, the assurance of things hoped for. It's not the assurance of ridiculous things. It's just the assurance of things that we can't see, but that we can put our faith in. You see, in America, we like to say, seeing is believing. But more often, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. If we refuse to believe something, then we simply will not see it, even if it happens right in front of us. Jesus did incredible miracles in front of the Pharisees, but all they said was, he's doing it by the power of demons. Again, if you don't have eyes to see, you won't see it. And yet, our world seems to think, no, 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 Christians should be questioning their faith every second. Lewis wrote a wonderful essay called Obstinacy and Belief, and he put it this way. What would you think about a man who married a woman, right? You, you got to know the girl, you fell in love with her and all that sort of stuff, and you married her, everything's great. But one month after you're married, you start spying on her. You start worrying every time she goes out late. You start checking up on her. You, you spy on her, her, her cell phone records, right? What would you think of a person like that? You would think he was a lout. You would think he was a boob. You would think he was a fool. And yet, in some ways, our modern world expects us to question everything every five seconds. Look, once you put your faith in something, if that thing, whether it's God or science, has shown itself to be reliable then you can trust that it will be reliable the next time. Again, people don't expect us to put radical doubt in science, but they expect us to put radical doubt in God. And yet, if God has shown himself to be faithful again and again, then we should be able to trust him without looking like fools.